the representative of the Spanish and Basque authorities. Dear participants, let me first congratulate the Basque government for putting to the forefront the future of vocational education and training. And what a better way to reflect on vocational education and training than to focus the discussion on humanity and its interaction with technology. We need a human-centric approach to technological development. People and skills are at the core of the EU strategy to recover from the COVID pandemic and manage the digital and green transitions. These transformations will shape many of the technological developments in the next decade and affect the economy, our society and each and every one of us whether active in the labour market or not. We estimate that 100 million people in Europe will have to update their skills to keep up with new technological development. Upskilling and reskilling throughout our working lives will have to become the new normal. This is why one of the three targets set in the European Pillar of Social Rights Action Plan is for 60% of working age adults to participate in training. How do we do this? First, we have to work in partnership. The Pact for Skills offers an effective approach to upskilling by pooling expertise from all actors in a given industrial ecosystem or in a given region. And I know many organizations, particularly in your country, that have adhered to it. Well done. Second, we need to anticipate skills needs. The skills agenda and the latest EU vocational education training policy framework both put emphasis on the importance of skills intelligence. This is the basis for informed decisions by policymakers, training providers, enterprises, and increasingly adults. In the face of today's changes, providing information on current and future labour market trends and skills needs is more important than ever. Finally, and maybe most importantly, we need to empower all of us to learn. This is why in December the Commission will present two new initiatives. One, on an individual learning account. Its aim is to give individuals the financial support and incentives needed to participate in the training that they choose, regardless of their employment status. The second initiative is about micro-credentials. Micro-credentials are key in building trust in the learning outcomes of training for, the, for both employers and workers. These two initiatives will place individuals in the driving seat, offer them the necessary support tools to upskill and reskill, with one main goal in mind, to have more adults regularly accessing training and reach the 60% target. Vocational training should play an important role in supporting young people and adults to acquire the skills needed for the green and digital transition. Yet, Vocational education and training systems within and outside the EU are very different. But we all face common challenges. It is why we need to work together in developing effective policy responses that empower individuals to pursue fulfilling lives and jobs. I would like to end by wishing you all an insightful Congress. Thank you.